So patients on JAK2 inhibitors uh, respond well to the treatment for a quite um, um, long period of time, but unfortunately um, um, they will progress through JAK2 um, and that means that there is a um, need clinically to um, uh, think about a new strategy. Um, there is um, available new drugs um, uh, already, uh, for example, Fedratinib that has been recently approved in Europe, uh, but has been obviously available in the US for quite some time. So that can recover about 20-25% of those patients in terms of symptom control and spleen reduction. Um, but eventually those patients will progress again. Um, so the new strategy is very much based on combinational therapy, uh, whether either JAK2 inhibitors is combined with um, new pathways uh, inhibitors, such as BET inhibitors or HTAC inhibitors um, uh, or uh, PAN-JAK inhibitors. Uh, or uh, BCL2 inhibitors um, uh, such as Navitoclax. Um, recently at ASCO, uh, there have been three interesting uh, abstracts. Um, uh, one where the approach was um, using, uh, for example, a, an exporting uh, protein inhibitor such as uh, Selinex. Uh, this is a drug that has been used in diffuse large B cell lymphoma and myeloma um, and never used in myelofibrosis before. Um, uh, the results of a phase one study uh, presented here at HASCO uh, suggested a uh, good results in terms of spleen reduction uh, and symptoms control uh, using a very different mechanism. Um, Another very interesting abstract which has been presented as um, oral um, was the results of Momentum, um, which is a phase three, phase three clinical trials using momelotinib um, in um, patients refractory to um, ruxolitinib. Um, the study compared the benefit um, of momelotinib versus danazole, and there was a clear survival advantage in um, momelotinib treatment for treated patients uh, in, in terms of symptoms response and splenomegaly. What is very interesting about um, this study is that patients with thrombocytopenia were also um, recruited and, and we're talking about patients that are uh, currently extremely difficult to treat uh, because of the thrombocytopenia and the hemorrhagic risk. So even patients with um, platelets lower than 50 or even lower than 25 can potentially be um, uh, treated now with a new um, strategy. Um, uh, there was also another um, abstract um, uh, that was uh, based on the um, utilization of a drug, um, pacritinib, um, that is a, um, um, uh, has, been, uh, uti has been already tested in phase one and phase two. Um, the approach in this abstract was uh, risk-based um, and those patients were um, uh, treated even with low platelets um, and once again a good response in terms of symptoms control and in terms of spleen reduction, um, which I think is extremely interesting for the very nature of those patients, especially uh, when the pancytopenia is uh, difficult to manage um, in clinic.